In 1969, the Kurashima shipyard of Imabari in Japan built the 90 meter long, 2,900 ton freighter Shoyo Maru. She had two forward holds with her superstructure and engine all set aft. She was sold to become the Marcos and in 1980 was sold again to the Dumont Shipping Company, who renamed her Janice D. In April 1983, she was loaded with a cargo of sawn timber in Rijeka, Yugoslavia, bound for Jeddah and then on to Hodeida in Yemen. She safely crossed the Mediterranean, transited the Suez Canal and the Gulf of Suez, and emerged into the open Red Sea. And struck Abinahas on the 19th of April, where the wind and waves pushed her stern around and she quickly sank parallel to the reef. Janice D is often dived from liverboards, which moor in the shelter of the reef, so you'll take a short zodiac ride. Or you might moor over the wreck and be able to see her before you even enter the water. The wreck is basically an intact stern and an intact bow, separated by the remains of the hold. You'll usually enter above the stern section and a good way to start the dive is to swim across the wreck, drop between the wreck and the reef and head to the right where you'll find the boarding ladder and just beyond it the propeller. Though you'll see both better if you look back after passing them. Keep swimming past the stern, turn around and you'll get this iconic view of the wreck. That rear winch gear can be worth a very careful look. To enter the wreck, swim through this doorway. Immediately to your right is access to the rudder machinery room. It's small and tight for more than a pair of divers. Across the corridor are a series of rooms, including the shower room. Access to the main engine room is opposite. You'll be around here as you enter, with the main engine directly below. There's plenty of room in here. The vis is decent, if a bit cloudy when there are a lot of divers, and a torch is useful, but not absolutely essential. Just take your time, there is lots to find. Beside the main engine is this little machine shop, but take care, it's very silty in here. If you prefer to drop straight onto the engine, these ventilation hatches are just ahead of the funnel. Simply swim through and straight down. Leave the engine room by following this stairway up and turn left through the doorway at the top. Follow this slope that was a stairway through the hatch, right a bit and down, through the next hatch and the next and you'll be on the bridge. Leave through the forward windows which will bring you out here and you can make your way forward above the remains of number two hold, the centre cargo booms, and you'll eventually reach the bow where the plimsoll markers are still clearly visible. The bow is intact though on its side and the foremast is a haven for marine life. Then it's back to the stern, where there's still lots more to explore. Inside and out. Don't miss the D on the funnel. When it's finally time to leave, you might ascend direct to your dive boat, 
or there'll be a line at this high point of the wreck back to your zodiac. Or you could even swim back. The reef on the corner is absolutely spectacular, but the swim back will take you 20 to 30 minutes.